Remember, don't try any of this at home. We're what you call experts. So people on the internet have been talking about Ublick and whether it has moves of vibration. Yeah, this is going to be a fun myth to tackle. Yeah, I really think the best way to tackle this myth would be to, you know, mix up some Ublick and uh, put it in a speaker cone and kind of see what happens. Yeah, I'll start mixing up some Ublick. shear thickening fluid that behaves like a solid when impulsive shear stress is applied. If you quickly stick your hand in a bucket of oobleck, it will react by hardening up like a solid and you won't be able to penetrate it. But if you stick your hand in slowly, it'll slide right through. With their experiment in mind, the mismatchers set up their station. Mike brought in a subwoofer to hold the medium and provide sonic input. Upon consulting physics expert Dave Heyman, the mismatchers set up the rest of their experiment comprised of a frequency generator and an amplifier to test the oobleck. As we can see here, the mismatchers are mixing cornstarch and water to create oobleck. As the mixture comes together, it becomes more and more like oobleck producing the properties of a non-Newtonian fluid, where, in its natural state without any force exerted on it, it becomes a liquid. While pressure is added from the spoons for mixing, it becomes a solid, as you can see Laura's finger is breaking it off in chunks. It wasn't quite the consistency to be able to pour into a speaker cone, as you can see by Jessica tapping the spoons together, so we decided to add a little bit more water to make it more of a two-to-one mixture for our experiment. This is good. Well, it's, it looks really liquidy, but when you pick it up, you can roll it into a ball. And also... Like this. But when then, I when I let it, this go... Wow. It slides through my fingers <laughs> like a liquid. Alright, let's so see cool. that again. Ready? So I pick it up and I can roll it into a ball. See? But then the second I stop, it turns into liquid. It becomes a liquid again and goes slides Whoa. through my fingers. Whoa! That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's like silly string. Yeah, one more time for good measure. <laughs> rolling it, rolling it. And it's like awesome. a solid. Mm -hmm. And then I stop, no force, and it's like a liquid again. Excellent. We started out at the fundamental frequency of water to see what would happen when we replace the water with oobleck. Not a whole lot. We began by checking for the first mode of vibration, which we kind of found. It looks like there's a little bit more noise around the edge than we would have liked. As we increased the frequency, however, we were definitely able to find the second mode of vibration. This occurs when the circular node is at 1 and the diametral node is at 1 as well. You can see this mode a little bit better if we just slow things down. the frequency even more to see what would happen. Next we saw as the vibrations increased from two sides oscillating up and down to four distinct sections oscillating up and down in a standing wave. Sorry to say that. 
that'll be it. Let's, what do we have? 18 point whatever? It's kind of weird. It's it's like it's modes of vibration, like or like, yeah. like yeah. lines instead of like circles, like what's in the water. That's what I said. Yeah, it's more of a scripture pattern, like. That's weird. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But it's actually more like a solid. I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which would make sense. It's like right in the middle. You can see like them be more defined as you go up. Yeah, now it's they just like keep forming and forming. Look at that. That is awesome. Yeah, wow, you can really see that. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really, really highlighted. That's really cool. That yeah, is really cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's something you might try that slow motion option on. I don't know if you yeah. want to mess with that. Yeah, let's Just try that on this one. See if we can get that. It takes like a 10 second. That's slow motion. So, so what you have to do is get out of record mode. We now attempted to find the fundamental frequency of Lutlak. We essentially used a trial and error process to find the mode of vibration of Ublak by slowly lowering the frequency and increasing the amplitude until we got small balls of Ublak to form as the bottom is staying solid while the top of it becomes liquid. We know this is the fundamental frequency because when a material is subjugated to its fundamental frequency, its behavior is widely amplified. This is exactly what we're observing with the Ublik in this case. As we added another color, we attempted to test our hypothesis that a non-Newtonian fluid subjected to a frequency would make a good way to mix the other fluid that was added across the surface. As you can see, it took quite a bit of force to make the two colors congeal together. Whoa, that's such a bright green. So cool. Does a drone have a different interval for like those patterns than blue black? Um, well, yeah, I think so. But I think, like, the drum patterns, like, translate itself through, like, so we can see it. Mm -hmm. like, like, like with the water. Yeah, like yeah. the same with the water. Except that wasn't as defined because it's thicker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it also depended on the amplitude. Yeah. Because yeah. when you turn the amplitude mm -hmm. way down, mm -hmm. we didn't get really, yeah. we didn't really get any results. Like, when you mm -hmm. turned it up more, mm -hmm. went crazy. Yeah. So do you think amplitude or frequency had more of an effect on it? Um, Probably amplitude. Well, I'd say both depends. Yeah. Because if you don't have enough amplitude, you're not putting enough energy in. Mm -hmm. And if you have too high or too low frequency, then... The amplitude won't do anything. Yeah. So, yeah. Then, so it's like a combination of the two. Yeah. Because yeah, if you have too high or too low frequency, then you're putting the... the um, Say this. You're gonna, the for the the pressure or the force you're imparting on it is either happening too slow mm -hmm. or too fast mm -hmm. for it to respond in the way you want it. So mm -hmm. it de depends both. And if there's no amplitude, then there's no actual energy going in. Right. So did we or smash our myth? Was confirmed. Totally confirmed.